everybody how are you i hope you're all doing great because it's a it's a it's a wonderful day you're gonna learn a super cool design perfect for valentine's what is it a heart and this can be probably for many different themes you know even for a centerpiece i've been trying to make a heart always trying to find something you know different but probably everything is already seen in balloons <laughs> so far i guess but um I want to first make sure people comment about the earrings that I wear all the time. It's different styles. So this type of earrings, and there's other ones, are really cool. And let's see if I can take it out so you can see. Uh, it's super light. Look at this. And it comes in different colors. Now, I don't know how to find it because the only thing I have, and I, it's this. You see, it's Jenna's Joy. That's where you can find it, probably on Facebook, try to look for Jenna's Joy. You know, it's a, all handmade. So try to uh, to find it because these are really, really cool. I wear it all the time, super light and easy to, to wear. The other ones I have, it's uh, from Grandma V. She made it with the Christmas ornaments, you know, the balloon dogs, and then she just made it into earrings. Um, so that's the idea, Jenna's Joy. Now, let's go into the design, and I want to dedicate it to Susan, let's see if I'm pronouncing correctly, Susan Surin. So you can see the name there, Susan Surin. She runs a Facebook page that everybody's welcome to subscribe. It's, you know, free, and you can see their ideas for different holidays, you know, designs. So their Facebook is Holiday Balloon Art. So you go to Facebook, you uh, can see. now. On Facebook, if you want to find me, my name is Cecilia, Cecilia Villar. But if you want to add me as a friend, don't do it. If you can like my page, great. That is Alpaca Global Balloons. But don't request friendships on Facebook because I keep my Facebook, you know, to add clients, you know, like people that live in my community. Uh, but I recommend you go uh, check out Holiday Balloon Art on Facebook. Uh, you can just um, subscribe there, I guess, or what is it called? Yeah, be part of the group. It's, you know, free for everybody, for balloon twisters, of course. Uh, so, go there. And Susan, she, you know, asked me for hearts. And I have different ways to make this. There's many different ways to make hearts, but that's opened my mind to say, oh, let's make another one. So, I went on, on Google, and I know, <laughs> I know how it's a heart shape, but I was like, you know, okay, Google, heart, keep that simple heart. And then I was thinking, hmm, I was passing pictures and I saw a beautiful heart and it was filled with stuff, you know, with, I think all the hearts and now I think, hmm, I like that. So I was thinking ideas, but then I was trying always to keep it, you know, kind of like cool, but simple. So this was the first attempt. So I was thinking, hmm, this is gonna start looking like a butterfly, but the idea, I like it. So then it came this. Oh wait, but this is too open and I don't wanna use more balloons to make this thicker. So, and then, I, but I was getting close. You see, it's all about practicing. That's why, you know, we use balloons. And I I know I'm very you know, frugal with my balloons, but in order to practice and make new things or cool things, I have to use balloons, you know. And many are gonna pop and many are gonna be just for, you know, practicing but after another practice it came this this design and i was thinking oh i like it i like it but something here that maybe i can fix and i was thinking what about this goes also inside this chrome little loop you know inside and i was like maybe that's how it's gonna be so it came this and the thing is from here to here it's the same idea it's just passing, you know, the balloons from the inside, this small um, loop or, you know, so you will see now what we make. But what is cool, if you pay attention, look at, it may look super intricate and complicated, but it's not. And look, it have this thickness and, and cool idea. I like it. And in the back, you can finish, you will have enough balloon to make another pinch twist, or you can have also enough balloons to attach it to some work else, like, for example, a big hat for 
Valentine's, if you have a Valentine's event, this can be attached to anywhere. Also here, if you end this with a pinch twist, it can be part of a candy cap, beautiful, or any centerpiece. You know, it have lots of potential. You just can give it to someone with a box of chocolate or, and this can be something really cool, a new way to make a hat. And it's just, you know, waving. You twist the, this part and then the rest is kind of waving. So you already have a clue. And best of all, you just will need three balloons. Yeah, three balloons. Two balloons, 160, one balloon, 260. Crumb, oof, looks beautiful, right? With crumbs, everything looks beautiful. Now, you can try all with crumb, but there's no crumbs 160. What you can make with the crumbs is just a squish and make it skinnier. And it can be part of a cool, you know, old crumb, this type of heart. Now, how to name it? You just tell me in the comments. And probably I'm gonna see the first comments. You know, if you have a name for this heart, I will put it so then. In the future, when you want to see how to make again or remember how to make this heart, it's going to be there. That name, let's I don't know, you will see what I'm making and let's see what name it occurs to you to name it. So far, it's going to be just Cecilia's heart, <laughs> but you can please name it because I don't want to keep that name, okay? So, comments, please don't forget, comment your ideas, comment what else we can make because the thing is the size, and this is the best part about this heart. It's there is so many different ways to make it and it's gonna look, still look like a heart. So that's something really cool. You can keep in mind, there's some basic things to make a heart, you know? It's like bam, bam, like a cross. And then from there, you can connect. From one boom, a loop, go down, to doom, to doom. Hearts, it's a basic shape maybe. <laughs> so it's the same kind of idea. But instead of make only one loop and then here at the top, it was just this idea. So I like it and I hope you like it too. It's super cool. Love it. Love it. And about measurements, well, uh, things doesn't have to be perfect. Just do your best. You know, the thing is, it's just this loop is bigger than these ones and this one is bigger than this one. So it's the biggest one, then two smaller ones, one medium. You know, so, but I'm gonna give you sizes just in case. So let's start with the chrome balloon. So the chrome balloon of the 260, because if you don't have crumbs, it's okay. Go with the 260, any color. Even if you use black, if you use a green, it's gonna look like a heart. So don't worry, any color. You can make a rainbow, that would be cool. Huh, that would be awesome, right? So <laughs> keep it in mind. If you make it, share it, tag me. Where you can find me, it's Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. That's the best way that you can text me. You can attack me in the pictures you learn from this YouTube channel. So, okay. Again, I'm talking a lot. I've, it's already eight minutes. <laughs> so sorry. So sorry. But remember, you can always go straight when I'm start twisting. Like it's right now. Right now. So now, it's six finger tail. Then you are going to uh, make a loop. The loop is actually even less huh even even less like four finger tail of this and you're gonna make a loop and the loop is approximately four to five finger loop okay we don't want to make it too big also because then you don't want to have enough balloon and then you will need another 260 balloon i want to make sure with these measures you're going to be able to make with make it the hardest part for only one balloon to 60 so i look approximately five or six finger pedal twisted love them make another loop the same size okay if it's possible things you know the same size loop then you're gonna make like three finger bubble and another three finger bubble twist it then you're gonna make another three finger bubble and another three finger bubble twist it very well because through that loop is gonna go some you know balloons 160 so then with the rest you're gonna put it down so this is a basic what basic butterfly look at this but we're gonna make a heart so we put it this way now we just make here like approximately five finger long okay and then approximately four five finger long then you can make a pinch twist here but you can do it, I think it looks better with the 160 because we're gonna have lots of 160 left over. So we're gonna go back with a five finger long, 
okay and then you twist it with the rest you can make a pinch twist just to go well in the front because the front for me it's kind of like the most important you know the backs usually it is goes you know in the backs nobody's gonna see it but if you think people's gonna see it, you can make a pinch twist in the front and a pinch twist in the back it's up to you for me a pinch twist in the front so i'm losing the air just to leave enough for a pinch twist there so whatever is here to pull to put my thumb pull and pass it around that's the pinch twist okay so now we have something like this and look at this before people have mentioned me oh cecilia that actually looks like a cute heart how you do that you saw what i did you have a bubble squishable you pull the tip and then pass it around and you're going to be able to play with that shape the heart shape it's practice sometimes it's black again have a good black but it's possible you know you play with that shape look at it with the lights and the heart is the center <laughs> nice okay let's keep going we're gonna grab now the balloons 160 any color yes different colors sure make it super mix match love those things so now you're going to inflate it leaving like four finger tail each of those you can tie them together pam, 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 pam. okay tie it together pass it around here so i'm just gonna pass one and two and then both are gonna end and the top here La, 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 la. okay now this is a cool part you're gonna go whatever you do in this balloon is gonna be the same the other balloon so then we start you okay so we're gonna do this one time and then we're gonna do another a second time the same that way it's also a good way to remember it's not that hard it may look confused but no pay attention i'm gonna try to go as slowly as possible but it's like this you're gonna grab the end you're gonna pass it through Look, I'm passing it through while well, this loops. You open it a little bit, push it, and look, the front is here. The back, so it's gonna go a little to the back. You see? And now let's go and pull. And when you're pulling, you're gonna remember it's gonna go this way. Yeah, it's kind of like a pretzel idea. So now from the now it's like, oh, Cecilia, you're confusing me. Hey, man, look, you go. A loop here and it's gonna go to the back of the loop so you're gonna go inside the loop and then you are in the back but not that back behind this 160 and then I'm gonna take this so you don't get confused that's the other 160 and then you just make it into like go and then go into here okay. I'm trying, I'm trying. Okay, now when you are here, look, you're gonna go down. And the first time I just went this way, but I'm thinking I'm gonna go inside. So I'm gonna open that loop, this one now. I'm gonna open it and squish it. So that's why I don't make it too tight. You loops you, or your bubbles, you know, with the spool. Because it's a 160, it's fine. But anyways, especially if you're gonna do it with. Uh, what is those beautiful jeweler jewel balloons so you're gonna have to kind of like be patient with that okay so you have this you pass it and but keep it the shape look how much air look at this you kind of have the idea there and then you can always put move this a little bit up so then that's the way you want it and then this one goes here okay this skinny one goes here so you're gonna twist it with in here you can measure that goes all the way here and then you can pass this through here the, the what is this five finger bubble between and that's what i'm doing so i'm gonna pass it so it's there and then i can make here a pinch twist and i can pass it again a pinch twist i give it just a little pointy part but it's up to you to do Anything is up to you. If you really want to do it, go ahead. If it's not, it's okay. And then you can go back again. So that's why, just to make sure you're all secure. But remember, it's having another 160 balloon. So then when you pass it, and it's not very developed, 
this balloon is going to go up but from the inside it's going to go up and now it's going to go again up again to this in between these two bubbles it's going to go up from the inside okay and then but instead to go to the front it's going to go to the back you will see so i'm going to show you the back and i'm going to pass it through and you can see it's passing through and grab the tip of the 160 pin and then start pulling but what i'm doing that kind of like making sure it's not so it's kind of i'm gonna show you i'm trying to just pull so pull you can also squeeze and make it fast you just pull and when you are there look this is the front okay it's there so I like it, this idea just to cover this part, the empties. And then you are not in the front. This 160 is coming from the back, you see? And then from the back, you wanna see, this is the back. And it's gonna go all the way up here. See? And you can go through, let me see. I'm gonna go up so you're in the back but you're gonna go like kind of in the front no wait a minute wait. Gonna up. and you're gonna go in the front but look when you come into the front you can pass it through here so let's see you can pass it through the, this loop okay. this one you pass it mm -hmm and go down that can be yeah it's, it's a type of way so you don't have to worry much okay look again as i'm saying then when you go all the way if you're gonna end here to this pinch twist you just squish twist put it in the back and then you're gonna pass it around a couple of times but so far we're gonna leave it there okay then you can accommodate things but look how cool it looks all that waiting and when you are having given you know, when you you're making this you will see okay this makes sense you know it's a way also to touch all this and make it all chunky here so then we have like a hard you know shape now let's do this one more time i know you think oh, this is this is hard it's not it's very easy it's very easy look again we're gonna go and this 160 is gonna go like and get inside okay let's see but because this is the thing you're gonna go and again it's gonna get inside but you're gonna you're not gonna see when it's coming out because it's coming out from the back see this is the you, you are looking at the front so i'm pulling and what i'm pulling i know this is gonna go up from the back right and then it's gonna go through this this part and you're gonna pass it through and you're gonna end all the way through inside these loops okay now let's go to the inside you open the loop and pass it through okay so that's what i'm doing right that's what you're looking and then you're gonna measure where it's there and you're gonna you can push this up if you want to keep things looking better it's up to you and then you're gonna go down to make sure the idea of the heart you can pull this out if you want from here but you can just leave it like this it's just passing through okay now then you connect it to the pinch twist and to make sure it's more secure you can pass it through this again so you just have to squish that's what i'm doing and pass it just pass it so then it's kind of more low and secure and you can pass it one more time if you want but you can also twist it around and then this is the front the idea is now this is going to go inside but covering this empty hole you see the empty hole so that's the idea we're going to put it in there then it's going to go up Again, it's going to cover also these empty holes. So you will see. Put it inside. 
and make sure the end is gonna go through this oops that when it's coming out remember it's coming out from not the front the back okay so let's see it's a little loop again From the back you you could have coming out from the front but i want it from the back that's what i want and then you're gonna go up look from the side this is the back you're gonna go this way in the back and you're gonna go up but in order to go up let me see let me see in order to go up now i have to to make sure it's the same idea going all the way actually all the way this way and then look it's gonna go actually this way look from here to here the back through there and then it's gonna go here going all the way here just so then it looks kind of the same idea that's what i'm trying to all that to make the same idea and then you just end here, so make sure you squish your balloon getting closer and twist it with a pinch twist or that's why you put also the pinch twist in the center and then the rest, I'm gonna just take the air out and pass it, it's gonna be easy if you take the air out and pass it around and secure them, okay? So if you want again, you can end with a pinch twist here if you want, this time it's easy, you just pinch, twist then the rest you cut and you make sure you pass this a couple times that way everything looks more secure so that's what i'm doing but the heart is ready now you, this can be also part of a wand part of a, a, a headband of course it can be part of anything okay just passing around here when you are here you're also going to cut this piece left over and you are going to pass it around a couple of times find you know you can tie it of course and but the only thing i don't want to forget is you're going to have enough tail uh to consider it you know if you don't have a pinch twist or if you want with a pinch twist you can pull you have a tip here to you know touch it any one you want okay so this is the design again i hope you like it please tell me in the comments what do you think you can always accommodate things you know the waving is done and it's a beautiful way to make a heart don't you think i think it's a very cool way it can be confusing it can be cool um people can be like think it's a silly wow how do you make this so you tell me what do you think if you like it please let me know in the comments now if you make it the same colors so also for learning purposes like different colors you can see but if you make it the same color it's like this play with you know different other colors like what happens if it's uh red and pink or yellow and red i don't know play with different colors you can but it's always going to look like a heart so the waving is the cool part you know look at that it's kind of like a rose heart um this is uh the back so if you prefer the back you know as the front whatever it's you uh it's up to you you can always you know bend things or, or put this more like here so it's up to you but this is the design i hope you like it uh i think it's something really cool something another new way to make a heart so enjoy it try practice uh be patient because it may be some tricky parts this part to pass through the balloons and if you are using citrus color oh that's going to be very hard but it's not impossible i did with this one this one is a citrus color so it works but you have to be patient gentle you know so <laughs> have fun please tell me in the comments what do you think and don't forget like subscribe comment share and if you can collaborate with this channel with a uh, money donation my bedmo account 
Stare at Paca Global Balloons, my PayPal at Paca Global Gmail. Also, in the description of all my videos, you can find there my address. You can send balloons, you can send anything to the decorate this place also check out on the description is an amazon wish list that it can be a really cool tool for you to to check it out what is cool on amazon that balloon twister should get or balloon artists should you know like have and if you want to collaborate that way you can always you know add something in the card from that wish list and it will be sent direct to me i will very well appreciate it what else what else uh check it out i already have from a long time ago valentine's playlist so go and visit the playlist of valentine's designs they have cupid different type of hearts different type of um you know cute things perfect for valentine's so like valentine's playlist i have easter playlists st patrick's playlists different playlists and this awesome youtube channel okay okay i'm leaving now ciao ciao